Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition for Friday, April 21st. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jalen. And here's what we have for you this week. For the first time since the pandemic, volunteers at the Charlotte Hall Veterans Home got together last week to celebrate their giving ways at the Waldorf Jaycees. The Veterans Home on April 12th hosted its Volunteer Appreciation Banquet, which served a lunchtime even recognizing volunteers at the state-run residential facility for veterans and their families. The Maryland Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Anthony C. Woods, made an appearance at the banquet as well. The event featured a reflection from Kimberly Jones, who was a volunteer at the Charlotte Hall Veterans Home as well. A Waldorf Club is planning on putting its upcoming show on ice, and for the Figure Skating Club of Southern Maryland, that's exactly what it needs to do. The club will perform its Skating Through the Decades Spring Ice Show on April 28th, 29th, and the 30th at the Capitol Clubhouse in Waldorf. Sarah Eden, the Figure Skating Club of Southern Maryland President, says about the performance, it's just an entertaining show. National Library Week is this week from the 23rd to the 29th, and for this week, the theme is There's More to the Story. The St. Mary's County Library Marketing and Communications Coordinator, Lauren Bouchardry, said libraries bring together entertainment, education, books, story times, craft classes, and computer classes. We have a little bit of everything for everyone, so we want people to come and learn about the library and what we have for them. Charles County was awarded about $3 million from the state of Maryland to help ongoing efforts to expand mutual broadbands in the county. The Charles County projects were two of the 35 projects awarded funds through Connect Maryland, which is an initiative to close the digital divide through the Maryland Office of Statewide Broadband. Maryland Governor Westmore said in an April 5th press release, internet access is essential for Marylanders to have a pathway to receive critical information to be innovated with their communities and participate in the local economy. Now turning to sports, McDonough Baseball upends St. Charles High School 7-1 on Monday afternoon in a Southern Maryland Athletic Conference baseball game that was a lot closer than the final score indicated. McDonough High School, which has a 3-7 record, scored two runs in the top of the first when Gavin Myers delivered a two-out, two-run single to right field. This run, would, this run support would be all that the starting pitcher, Ryan D. Dinesnier, would need, in which limited, he limited St. Charles to one unearned run and fanned 15 batters in only six innings, causing McDonough to emerge with a rare victory. Huntington Town sophomore Trouts North Point High School. On April 14th, winning 18-2, the Hurricanes shrouded to North Point last Friday afternoon with the Huntington Town sophomore pitcher Jordy Grievey pitching two innings of relief in a non-safe situation and allowed two unearned runs, which both were largely her responsibility from two throwing errors in the fourth and fifth innings, respectfully. But the North Point Eagles struggled more, allowing 18 runs with only five earned, leading to an 18-2 victory over the host team. That's all we have for you on the Friday, April 21st edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jalen. Signing off.